Hi there, welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. If this is your first time here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And some of you may already know this, but I'm getting prepared for a craft show in November and I'm trying to improve my booth setup. If you've seen some of my other booth mock-ups, you might recognize this tagging that I have for my jewelry. But as one of the things that I'm doing to kind of make my booth look a little more professional, I decided to go ahead and purchase some small, professionally die-cut earring and jewelry cards. And while I did give up my logo, I have a sticker on the back which just has my QR code so people can still find me if they are interested and I just think this is a nicer looking way to display my jewelry. If you've seen my other booth mock-ups you've probably seen the way I've displayed these cards and this card needed a very different type of display. So I came up with two ideas that I'm really happy with. They're very inexpensive. There's a flat version that you can stand the jewelry up in, and there's also a hanging version that you can hang the cards on. So let me show you how I put these together. To make the flat display, you need four paint stir sticks, and you wanna make sure that you don't have ones that are warped, so just check and make sure that they're nice and flat. You're also going to need seven popsicle sticks and again you want to make sure that they're nice and straight and not warped. You need a T-square, a straight edge, you could use a book, I just have this block of wood, something to write with, and you're going to need a little bit of wood glue to hook everything together. So the first thing I want to do is take one of my paint stir sticks and my T-square and the cards that I'm using are two by three and a half so these are measurements that fit those that size card and I want to mark at one and three quarters, four and a half, seven and a half, and ten and a quarter. And Hopefully you have a paint stir stick that doesn't have a lot of print on at least one side. This has a little bit of a ruler printed in white. You probably might not even be able to see it. Um, and I'm just leaving that side the way it is. So I want to make my markings on the printed side of the stick. And once I've done that, I'm going to take the other sticks. And at the little handle end, I want to alternate those just for my design. So I've got the handle on the one end here. I'm going to put it on the opposite end and then I'm going to take the next one, alternate that and my fourth one and alternate the handle again. So I'm going every other one with a handle on either side. And then I just want to take my straight edge and make sure that everything is flat against the straight edge. I'm going to use my T-square to mark a line on the rest of the pieces of wood, holding everything square. And I'm just going to do that for all four marks. And then I'm going to take three popsicle sticks and I want to slide them right in the middle here, keeping my lines fairly, uh, keeping my lines all lined up and keeping the straight edge there. Just going to slide a popsicle stick standing up so it's just a little bit of a spacer there. I'm just going to put a little bit of wood glue on my outside lines on all four sticks. I don't want too much. Make sure everything stays snug and lined up. I'm 
And then I'm going to take another popsicle stick and just lay it on top here in my glue, trying not to move anything around. Press it into the glue. And I'll do that on the other side as well. The wood glue sets up pretty fast. You could use other glues if you wanted to. E6000 would work. It will take a little longer to set up. And you probably could even use hot glue if you wanted to. Um, some of the hot glues are better than others. I did a little bit of a review of some hot glues and I found that the Gorilla Glue was probably the best. If you want to try hot glue, you probably could use that. But if you do need to adjust your sticks at all, this the wood glue is probably the best choice because it does set up pretty quickly, but it does give you some time to get everything lined back up if you get the sticks in the wrong place. So hopefully that's set up enough that I can just slide these out now. And I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the other two lines and add some more sticks. And if you're making this for like greeting cards or something, you probably want some different spacing. Maybe you don't even want these middle popsicle sticks in there. Or if you have bigger cards, you might want to adjust the spacing. Just going to gently put these last two popsicle sticks on. Make sure they're pressed into the glue. And then I like to add a little bit of weight to them just because if there is any warping it'll help to make sure that the glue is making contact with all of the wood pieces. Now the only trick of course is that you want to not slide your pieces around when you set the weights on. And that's all there is to it. Once the glue is dry you have a finished little card or earring display. To make the hanging version, you do need a few more tools and supplies. So you're going to start with a finished flat display. Then you also need either a small dowel or I'm just using these uh, wooden skewers and you need something to cut the wooden dowel or skewers with. I just have these nail pulling pliers because they're very quick to cut this soft wood. If you have a nicer piece of wood, like a dowel, you might need more of a saw to cut your dowels with. You need one more stir, paint stir stick, a cordless drill, your marking pencil, a center punch, your wood glue, a sanding sponge, and a piece of sandpaper. And then for each display, I'm using two small clothespins. These are from the Dollar Tree. If you decide to hang your display differently, you might not need this. You could use a piece of wire or something. But for my displays, I'm putting them on a wire frame. And so these are going to clip to the wire frame on the back. So I've jumped out to my garage here. And what I want to do first is I'm just marking the center of my popsicle sticks and the center of the top paint stir stick. You can use a ruler if you want to. I found it easier just to kind of try to eyeball where the center was. The If there's any warping at all, it can kind of mess up your measurement. So I think it's better just to make sure that you like the visual of it. So that's why I'm eyeballing my markings. And then I'm using the center punch to start my hole. And I've matched my drill bit size to the size of my dowel or skewer. So you just want to make sure that you're drilling a hole big enough for your skewers to fit tightly inside of. So you might want to do a test run, but you want when you're done, you want the skewer to fit snugly in the hole. And then I'm just going over it with a light sanding with my sanding sponge just to knock down the rough edges. So I've got my holes drilled and the piece is sanded. And the next step is to flip it over and I'm going to add my clothespins. And I want to line them up with the outside popsicle stick 
and right to the top of the paint stir stick. So I'm just going to add a little bit of wood glue to two of the stir sticks. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my clothespins in the glue and slide them right up to the top of my stir stick. And just keep them lined up with the popsicle stick on the side. And you could leave them like this, but this will have a tendency to hang forward and sort of tip so that your things that you're displaying might sort of fall off of your display because it's going to kind of lean in, I think, because of the way that the clips are on the back. So I'm going to add this extra stir stick and just line it up with the bottom. So the only place it's going to make contact is on the popsicle stick. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to each of them. And then I'll line up the stir sticks. And you can see this one, well, maybe you can't see it, but it's a little bit warped. So I definitely want to put some weight on here again. And I'm going to try to do it without bumping my clothespins. So I'm going to slide that out of the way and we'll cut our skewers. I'm going to make a few extras because I just want to make sure that I don't, you know, if I lose one that I'll have plenty. So I'm going to cut three of the skewers, sort of work with three of the skewers at a time. Again, you want ones that aren't too warped. This one looks quite curved. This one does too. That's a reason why you might want to work with a little bit nicer wood, but since I had these, this is what I'm using. Those are better. So I'm cutting my skewers to about two and a half inches. And I'm just going to line them up and use my pencil to mark how long I want them. And then my nail pulling pliers, I'm just gonna line up my line and it just snaps these right in half. Now it does kind of tear up the end a little bit. But we'll smooth that out with the sandpaper in just a minute. So I've cut the end of my skewer and it has a pretty nice finished end, but this other end is kind of rough. So I'm just going to knock down the edge a little bit with the sandpaper and I'm not going to worry too much about getting it smooth. I want to make sure that I have the nice end out when I assemble my display. So I'm just going to use a Sharpie to mark the end that I want to go in into the holes that I drilled in my display. And you need four pegs for each display. So uh, there's three and I already have this one. But like I said, I'm going to make a few extras. So I'm just going to mark another. Oh, wait. Before I do that, though, I want to make sure that I get this end nice and flat because I need another uh, finished end for to stick out of the display. So I'm going to do a little better sanding job on this. But when I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and mark and cut three more of my skewers. So this one I have already made and the glue's had plenty of time to dry. So you should be able to just slide the pegs in and they should fit fairly snugly. Now, if you want to glue them in to make them secure, you can. I kind of like the idea of being able to take them out and store my displays flat. So they'll just take up a lot less space. 
If you'd like more craft show tips or some ideas for making upcycled jewelry, click one of the playlists below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed the content, and I'd love to have you join my YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button. You can also check the description box to sign up to receive the Upcycled Design Lab newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.